Hi guys, today I'm going to show you the next in a new series of lighting tutorials using one single strobe inside the studio. For today's technique we're going to use a PixPro City 600 light with a 120cm Octobox fitted. So we're going to be using this light to achieve high speed sync which means we can shoot at extremely shallow apertures inside the studio. So we've brought Abby in to see now, so we're just going to have her sitting on this stool. We're shooting against a storm grave paper backdrop here. And what we're aiming to do is get quite a bit of light fall off. We're lighting this with just one light at a very high speed, which means the ambient light's going to struggle to get through, which is what we want. We want a really shallow aperture, really shallow depth of field, and not much light leaking through the background. So I'm shooting this on a 50mm and a 1.4 lens because I want to get that shallow aperture. So I'll be shooting mostly around about a 1.4 mark. In terms of shutter speed, I'm at 5,000th of a second. So again, shooting indoors, I can do this with this ST3 trigger from Pixar Pro using the City 600 lights. Just glancing down the water base. Now one thing you've got to be conscious of is shooting the light from one side is that we get quite a lot of fall off on this side of Abby's face. So if it's a bit too much fall off here and it's a bit too contrasty, bring that light around a little bit further towards the 12 o'clock mark and it just means you're going to get a little more spill coming around this side. So another thing to be conscious of shooting at these really shallow apertures, so I'm down at 1.4 is the movement you might get. So once you focus, don't recompose, change your focus and point in camera because any movement of that sort of aperture is going to mean you're totally out of focus when you take the shot. So as you can see, I've now put the grid on the front of this light. We're getting a little bit too much spill on the grid background. It was a bit, little bit too light for me. So what I've done is put this grid on, which is going to stop that light spilling around and really channel it in on Abby's face. We do a quick test shot using the same settings we were on. You can see a huge difference there already. So I had, I moved up to 1 8,000th second, but it's a little bit too dark. I'm going to drop back down to 1 5,000th. That's exactly the sort of look we want. So I'll just turn you on ever so slightly. Nice Perfect. So that's given us a much darker background, a much more contrasting image. We've still got enough light in there that it's, we're not losing Abby's hair against the background too, so there's a nice separation still coming from this. Now with the position of this light, if I'm ever shooting a one light setup, I always tend to put the light at 45 degrees to our model. So if I'm standing here at 90 degrees, this light will be pretty much between us. Ideally, we want to raise just above the head height, pointing down so again, nice flat run angle of that light. We want to come across the nose with just a little Rembrandt if you want on opposite cheek. So that's it guys, a very simple one light technique shooting a very simple image with shallow apertures using the Pixar Pro City 600 and ST3 trigger system. Thanks for watching.